Hi guys, welcome. Today we are gonna take a look at the new dark theme implementation features which were added in Android 10 and how you can implement them in your own app. In today's video, we are gonna learn how user can change your app theme or set it to default so it can sync with OS. Next, how you can manage your resources such as colors and drawables according to the light and dark theme. And lastly, how you can check the current using theme of the device that your app is currently running on. So let's get started. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and turn on the notification bell to never miss any update. Now in Android Studio, I have already created a project. In my layout XML file, I have created a radio group with three radio buttons and I have given ID to each of them as you can see in my layout file. And you have a new toggle button in here. With this you can see how your layout file gonna look in both themes. And in your resource directory, you have one more themes.xml file with the knight in its name. If you open both of them, you are gonna see same written code except they have different color attributes. They are gonna be served according to the user active theme. But this thing only gonna work on Android version 10 or later. Now what most of the Android apps do is give user and choice to select their preference theme. And that's I'm gonna show you. For that we'll go to our main activity.java. And in here, I have already initialized my radio group and assign it to its following ID. We want to give the user an selectable choice. For that, I'm gonna call set on check change listener on the radio group. And in the callback method, you will get the selectable radio button ID. We simply have to use if else statement to change the theme accordingly. For that, I'm gonna write if ID equal to equal to R dot id dot system that's the id of our first radio button and in here we're gonna call app compat delegate dot set default night mode and pass here app compat delegate dot mode night follow system so that our app would follow the system preferences else if id equal to equal to r dot id dot light if user want to change the app theme to light we are gonna pass app compat delegate dot mode night no and it gonna change the app theme to light mode. Else if id equal to equal to r dot id dot night. If user want to use the dark theme then we are gonna pass app compat delegate dot mode night yes and it gonna change our app theme to dark mode. And it gonna recreate your activity automatically. You don't have to do anything. So now let's test the app to see how it's work. Now you can see that I am using light mode in this device. When I click this system default and light, nothing changes. But when I select night, the app theme is changed. And selecting light or system default, it changes it back. And it gonna do the complete opposite thing when I am using night mode on my device. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use colors and drawables in your app according to theme. Now in my XML layout, I have added a card view with two text views. And you can see I didn't provide any colors to them. But when you toggle the app theme, it gonna change colors according to the theme. By default, Android is providing default colors to them according to the theme, which is really nice. But if you want to use your custom colors, then one way is you can use themes.xml. You can provide colors value in them and use that color attribute in your views. But it takes a little too much of time and I'm gonna be showing you an easy way you can do that. So right click on this values directory, new, values resource file. Write the file name colors. We're gonna be using this resource qualifiers. So scroll down and choose night mode. Click on this arrow and choose the night mode to night. 
and now click the OK button. Now you can see you have two colors.xml file with night one of its name. And in here you can create light and dark mode color separately in those files. So I'm gonna create a background color for my card view. And in the night's color.xml, I'm gonna create a color with the same name, but provide a different color according to the dark theme. I'm gonna create another color for my text. I'm gonna call it text primary, you can call whatever you want and choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna copy it and paste it in here and change the color to my liking. I hope you get the idea, you can provide two separate colors for the two separate themes. I'm gonna create one more color and you can use this colors name in your views and they will set the colors according to the theme. But make sure you have provided same color name to those files, otherwise it's not gonna work. Now I'll go to my activity.xml and use those colors value. For the colors value, I'm gonna use that background color. For this text, I'm gonna use text primary and this description, I'm gonna use this text secondary. And now when you toggle the themes, you can see that color is changing according to the colors that you have provided in those files. And you don't have to do any programming logic in it. Now if you have any JPG or PNG image like this and you want to provide one of them according to your app theme. For that right click on the resource directory. New and dot resource directory. Choose the resource type to drawable. Use the resource qualifier. Choose the night mode and select the night mode to night and click on this OK button. You may not see any changes in here but it has created a drawable directory for the night mode. Now simply copy that image that you want to serve for the night mode and paste on it this drawable folder. And you will see these options. Choose drawable night in its name and click OK. Next it's gonna provide you options to change the name. If you want, you can change it. I'm gonna simply click on the OK button. Now copy that image that you want to serve for the light mode. And simply paste it on the drawable folder. And choose this drawable directory. Click OK. And make sure they both have same names. And now click on the OK button. Now you will find those two PNG files in your drawable directory with night one of its name. To show you how it's work, I'm gonna create an image view in here with a written height wrap content. And I'm gonna pass this name as a source. As you can see that PNG image is appeared on the view. And when you toggle the theme, it changes according to the theme. Here's how you can specify colors and drawables in your app according to the light and the dark theme. Now let's check the device kind theme on which your app is currently running. To do that I have added a button in my layout file with an id check theme and in the main activity.java I have initialized the button and assigned it to its following id. Now I'm gonna call set on click listener on this button and we will create a separate method for this. For that we will go outside of the onCreate method and write private void check system theme. In here I am gonna use this configuration class with content on race in its name. I am gonna call it configuration equal to get application context dot get resources dot get configuration semicolon. Next, I'm gonna create an integer kind configuration is equal to configuration dot UI mode and configuration dot UI mode night marks. And we're gonna use the switch case statement to check the return value. The first case would be configuration dot UI mode night no. That's mean device is using the light theme. I'm gonna show a simple toast message in here. 
for the next case would be configuration dot UI mode night yes. That's mean device is using dark mode. And I'm gonna simply show an toast message in here. You can also write your own logic. And now call this method in our on click listener. And now test the app to see how it's work. As you can see, we'll get the correct toast message according to the theme that I am using. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you has any questions or queries regarding to this topic, please ask me in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider to do so. It really motivates me a lot. And you will get the source code of this video in the description. So guys, take care. Until next.